Hey Vikes, today we have your weekly sports highlight and some random riddles. I'm Darren. And I'm Ryan, and this is your Daily News. Prepare for something amazing. Hey Mustache, what's up? <laughs> This is the last week for Kiss the Pig. Remember to put money in the jar that, for the teacher you want to save. Kiss the Pig will take place Friday. The wellness night is tomorrow from 6 to 8 at West Dianola. If you're interested in teaching, go to Miss Marsh Bank in 920 to pick up an application for the Kansas Future Teacher Academy. Seaman Orchestra is having a Glory Days fundraiser today. Please consider stopping by. If you present a flyer, a portion of the proceeds will benefit the orchestra after enjoying your pizza. You can head over to the high school to enjoy the lip sync battle from 7 to 9, featuring some interesting groups including last year's winner, Holy Guacamole! On Friday of this week, February 23rd, the Mighty Seaman players will be bringing improv comedy to the Seaman stage. This unique form of comedy uses prompts from the audience, such as, Who are we? Where are we? And what is the scene about? Then comedy is born. All Sharp students may attend this show from 10.15 to 11 during seminar on Friday. Come join us. Attention sophomores, the SHS Bank is taking applications for the 2018-19 school years. This is a very unique opportunity to be a part of the historic Seaman High School Bank. Students will learn the total operation of the bank as well as the banking ind industry. Applications are in the SHS Bank. Feel free to stop by and pick, up, pick one up. Interviews will be during the week of March 5th through 9th. Now over to sports with me. From the lakes of Minnesota to the hills of Tennessee Kiss a pig, hug a swine, some of them are good friends of mine. I'm especially prone to those Poland China porkers. I'm more fun than a dog and smarter than a horse, and you might find them a little coarse, but shoot, they ain't near as rude as some New Yorkers. Practices start Monday, February 26th. You must have your physical and concussion paperwork turned in before you can practice. If you, are if you are unsure if you have turned it in, please feel free to stop by the athletic department and check with Mrs. McCormick. If you are unable to attend the track and field informational meeting and are still thinking about competing in this spring, please see Coach Peterson, Coach Welch, or any of the track and field assistant coaches. There will be a softball meeting for student athletes tomorrow in room 902, beginning at 3.23 p.m. If you have any questions or cannot attend the meeting, please contact Coach Monholan. Now over to the studio sensation, Weatherman Josh. Well, Vikes, we've got round two of wintry weather on the way, and therefore the National Weather Service has issued a winter weather advisory, which goes in effect at 6 o'clock this evening and continues through noon tomorrow. Tonight, there's a chance the precipitation starts as snow briefly before quickly transitioning into a mix of either freezing rain or sleet, or really both. And really, according to the latest data that's coming in, we could be looking at more freezing rain earlier on, which is not good news for drivers. This is the forecast that could, that could change, so stay tuned to sources throughout the next 24 hours. Then tomorrow, the surface, temper the surface temperature is going to be a, play a big 
role in the type of precipitation we see. We're likely to see the first round push out sometime during the morning with the next round coming in for the afternoon. This should be more like drizzle, but it could be either freezing drizzle or just plain old rain. And in terms of potential ice accumulations, we could be looking at one to two tenths. But if the latest trends continue, it could be more like a quarter inch, which would be extremely hazardous on the roads. And now for your SVTV five day forecast, you can see that even if we don't get above freezing tomorrow, we definitely should on Friday, allowing this messy ice and sleet to melt. But low temperatures will still be mostly below freezing, so mornings will continue to be slick through the next five days. Another system moves through Friday night and into Saturday. Details remain uncertain, so stay tuned for that one. Today in history, it's National Sticky Bun Day and Corbin Blue's birthday. Now, back to your anchors. Hey Ryan, how many seconds are in a year? Let me make a quick Google search. While he's doing that, let's go see what your answers were. And ask some students some riddles. This is what you guys had to say. How many seconds are in a year? Can I get a calculator? Um, I don't know, like a million something? 12. January 2nd. Wait, there's 12. January 2nd. Oh! February 2nd. <laughs> okay. A lot. 12. There are three houses. One is red, one is blue, and one is white. If the red house is to the left of the house in the middle and the blue house is to the right of the house in the middle, where is the white house? To the right. What? I'm confused. In Washington, D.C. <laughs> Where is the White House? <laughs> Wait, say that again? There are three houses. One is red, one is blue, and one is white. If the red house is to the left of the house in the middle, and the blue house is to the right of the house in the middle, where is the White House? Left. In the middle. In Washington, D.C. <laughs> it's the White House. <laughs> You are driving a bus. At the first stop, two women get on. The second stop, three men get on, and one woman, one woman gets off. At the third stop, there are kids and their mom gets on, and a man gets off. This bus is gray, and it is raining outside. What color is the bus driver's hair? I have no idea. Think about it. Brown. Because oh. <laughs> you're driving the bus. Okay. okay. Yep. Brown. Good job. But do you know why it's brown? Because I'm driving the bus. Good job. Side. What color is the bus driver's hair? <laughs> what? <laughs> the gray? I don't know. What? The color of your hair. You're the bus driver. How did I become the bus driver? The first sentence is, you are the bus driver. Oh, <laughs> God! To answer your question, it's 31,536,000 seconds. No, it's 12 seconds. Did you not watch the segment? I was researching. Good deal. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Don't forget to come out and support the orchestra at Glory Days. Have a great rest of your day.